Okay, here's a couple of electric furnace sequencers. Um, we call these the stack sequencers. Uh, I think we used to call them the TIs because uh, Texas Instruments was the first one to come up with them. Uh, these are time delay switches. That's really all they are is a time delay switch. And they're made for 25 amps. Kind of look these things over. These copper parts on the bottom here and here, across between these two is the heater. That's a 24 volt heater. On this one here, there's a heater across here and a heater across here. Oftentimes there's a jumper wire across here and across there so you only have to put one uh, one set of connections on it will start both heaters. Uh, the, you can set them up so that they're timed differently and so on if you use different jumpers. But uh, you can set them up so that they're timed. You know, uh, you could have one first stage would turn these two on and the second stage would turn these on. You could have it set up that way too. Uh, but both of these pretty much do the same thing. These, this is also a three stack sequencer. Now this one's a little hard to see. Okay, now, now you can see M7 and M8. That's telling you there's a switch across between M7 and M8. M9 and M10, another switch, M11 and M12. Okay, these things usually start out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. This sequencer here, specifically, this one would be timed later because the higher the number uh, on the M, the longer it takes for it to go on and the f sooner it takes to shut off. Now, let me explain that a little better. This uh, M9 and M10 are not going to come on when M7 and M8 come on. They're going to come on at a later time. And then 11 and 12 are going to come on later yet. Well, when the power shut off to these, this heater down here, then the, uh, this one is going to shut off first, last to start, first to shut off. Okay, This one goes off, then this one goes off, then this one goes off, and there's usually a bunch more of them down there. Uh, well, this one here, if you took a look at this one, this one's a little easier to see. M1 and M2, that's going to be the first one to start and the last one to shut off. M3 and M4 uh, will be the second one. Sometimes these two go at the same time. Depends on the sequencer. And you can't see it quite as well, but M5 and M6 are here. So if I wanted to put these two sequencers together, I wouldn't guarantee it, it would work like I wanted it to, but because they want, you well, know, it just doesn't always work. Uh, but ideally, this one here would be the first to come on, and it would be the last to shut off. And this will also shut the fan off. So when M1 and M2 close, the fan starts, the first element comes on, then a little later, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 9 and 10, uh, 11 and 12. That would be the sequence that they come on. Just remember, M1 and M2 are going to be the first ones to come on and the last ones to go off. Uh, if you are putting different sequencers in an appliance where you're uh, mixing like this one with this one I would not guarantee the timing is going to be right on with these things unless they're exact factory replacements uh, you're going to have to make sure that they time properly let's say this one timed way different than this one this one shut off early but this one shut off late well, if it did, then it would leave one of the elements on, or two of the elements on, or something like that, when this M1 and M2 shut off, so you wouldn't have uh, 
a fan running while you got an element running. So you need to make sure when you put these in, if you're not putting exact replacements or you're putting something that's not on the same plate. See, this is all on the same plate. Uh, and you got to make sure that they time off right. I mean, I would check them anyway to make sure that everything cycles right. But, uh, but these sequencers, because they're a time delay relay, you got to be aware of the timing on these things.